Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines of personal leans out for college football week 10. And of course, this is the Big Ten edition. So this is like week two or three, uh, depending which uh, school you're watching. But anyway, uh, just got to quickly remind you once again, before we dive into some more free content here, don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We do daily premium sports picks on that website, beginning at just $1.99. Here we cap every game. Uh, they're on Patreon. You guys actually uh, find out where my money's at. And uh, we currently have over 625 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on, uh, we're going to take a look at Michigan State, Iowa. And that's going to be a 12 p.m. Eastern start time. Now, the Iowa Hawkeyes are the seven-point favorite at home. Totals 46. Sparty's plus 210 for an upset win at Kinnick Stadium. And speaking of up, uh, let's try that again. Speaking of upsets, Michigan State's coming fresh off a three-point victory over highly touted Michigan this past week. The Spartans have actually scored 54 points in their last couple of contests. Quarterback Rocky Lombardi has been very electric, very good. He's thrown for 642 yards and six touchdowns through just two games. He's been electric, averaging 321 yards a game through the air. Now wide receiver Ricky White is averaging over 100 yards a game receiving as well. He uh, also has nine catches for 201 yards and a touchdown. White's also averaging nearly 23 yards of reception. Kind of a big play guy here for the Spartans. Now, wideouts Naylor and Reed also have a combined 298 yards receiving between the two of them as well. Michigan State's 1-0 straight up in their lone road game. 1-0 against the spread in that contest. And, of course, that was the big upset over in-state rival Michigan. Now, they are taking on a struggling Iowa team who lost two straight to open up the 2020 campaign. They lost to Purdue and Northwestern, scoring just 20 points a game respectively in each of those two contests. Now, quarterback Spencer Petras is completing just 53% of his passes, and he's thrown three interceptions compared to just one touchdown through two games. Simply put, Petrus just hasn't been good enough to get the job done for the Hawkeyes, especially uh, uh, more specifically just in the early going here of this 2020 season. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the number in this one, both of Michigan State's two contests on the year flew over the total 46 points. Uh, once again, uh, Rocky Lombardi's uh, been outstanding passing the football so with all that said and done i'm going to lean toward the underdog michigan state spartans plus seven keeping it close on the road and the over 46 in that contest all right next matchup it is going to be nebraska northwestern 12 p.m eastern start time at ryan field the wildcats are the three-point favorite at home totals 55 flat now the Cornhuskers are plus a buck 35 for an upset win. Nebraska